My husband got an email about the hot water getting shut down temporarily for repairs in his apartment. We own our own house. My husband is on a trip with one of our sons and his brother to go visit their mother my son's grandmother. I was cleaning up the den when an email notification popped up on his iPad. It was an email from an apartment complex that they were going to be temporarily closing down the hot water for repairs, sent from one of those automatic senders that you can't reply to. It was addressed to my husband, with his first and last name. The thing is we own our house. We haven't rented in over 10 years, and even then it wasn't this place. Where my husband is upstate and why there isn't any service. I tried to send him a picture of the email, but it won't go through. I called him and spoke to him for a bit, service was choppy, but I managed to explain to him about the email, and basically all he said is that it must be a mistake, and they had the wrong email. We weren't able to say much before the call just dropped, but if it was a wrong email how would they have his first and last name, all spelled correctly. For context, his first name is somewhat common, but our last name isn't common, especially in this area. There weren't any other emails from this sender, or about this apartment complex in my husband's emails, but he is also the kind who clears out his inbox as he gets messages. I sent a message to the apartment complex telling them that I think my husband was on their email list by mistake, but I just got an automatic email sent back that they were out of the office until October 20, and then general rent information pricing one bedroom one $600, two bedroom one $900, and that there were no open units available. There was no unit number on the email, but the complex is about 15 minutes away from our house, so I went and I drove by. Which I guess might be a little crazy, I know. I didn't see anything not like I knew what to expect. It's a group of buildings. Less than 100 apartments in all. I don't have any reason to mistrust my husband other than this weird email that gives me a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach. As well as a general feeling of paranoia that he's just been bored with me. I've been feeling this way for a little while but he insists I'm imagining it, and that he's happy I only brought it up to him once, when I was feeling particularly insecure last year. We still do things together, he still tells me he loves me etc. I just feel like he doesn't have as much fun with me as he used to, and like he looks for reasons to be out of the house or doing things specifically with the boys instead of doing things with the whole family. It's not like it's something that bothers me every day, just something that I think about when I'm feeling insecure or paranoid like in a situation like this where he gets an email from random apartment complexes lol. Anyway I don't know exactly what advice I'm looking for, I know the advice I would have for one of my friends would be just to talk to him. But I really can't do that until he comes home on Saturday, which is a really long time for me to sit with my intrusive thoughts. Edit. He never lived here in the past. He lived with his parents until college, and then lived in a dorm, and then every place he rented was with me. We've been dating since we were 19. Edit 2. The email wasn't a phishing scam. It was a legitimate email from the email address on the apartment complex's website. All of the information included in the email letterhead matched the information on the apartment complex's website. And if it was a phishing scam, I assume they would have been looking for information. This email wasn't looking for anything, it was just an informational email about the water. Update. My best friend called the emergency maintenance number and said that she was a delivery driver who had over $100 worth of food for and said my husband's name, but said he had forgotten to fill in his apartment number. The guy didn't speak English very well, but after she repeated herself a few times he did eventually say his name and then told us an apartment number. Update 1 Last night, I found out about my husband's secret apartment and my friend went to it. Sorry about the late update. My post was locked by the time I got to it. I'm currently writing this on the right upstate. Yesterday I posted about an email I had gotten on my husband's email from an apartment complex talking about fixing the water. My husband, who is upstate visiting his mother until Saturday, has next to no cell service so I haven't been able to talk to him about any of this other than saying that the email must have been a mix-up. My friend called and got his apartment number from the maintenance man. Both of us went over to the apartment and my friend knocked. A girl answered but didn't answer the door, just the bell camera. My friend said she was there looking for Adam. The girl said that Adam wasn't there but wouldn't give her more information than that which I get, my friend was just a total stranger at her door. When we left I could see her looking out the apartment window at us. I tried to call my husband a thousand times yesterday and nothing went through. The few times the call did pick up the service was so bad you could barely hear anything, so I'm headed upstate to confront him in person.
I have a copy of the email, as well as a photo of the apartment, as well as a recording of the girl saying that Adam wasn't there which is a confirmation to me that she knows him. If this is somehow all a big misunderstanding I'm going to have my husband explain it to me in person, instead of waiting until he comes home. I haven't gotten a chance to read all the comments, but I will go through them now and try to respond to what I can. I haven't slept so I hope this makes sense. Edit to everyone telling me that I should just wait, not confront him, talk to her first. He's my husband, he's the father of my children. If I'm going to find out that he's cheating on me, it is going to be from him. I'm going to say this for the last time. Please stop advising me not to go talk to my husband about this very serious situation that we are in. I will go talk to a lawyer if need be. However, we have been married for over a decade, we have a family and a life together. I am going to go talk to him. I understand what the situation probably is. I understand that he's probably going to try to lie to me. I'm not a moron. Final update, I confronted my husband. I'm writing this from a hotel room. I went to confront my husband. He knew the minute my car pulled up what was going on. He came outside to meet me and the first thing he said was, did you go to the apartment? And I told him yeah. So then he said, so I guess we have to have a talk. And again I said yeah. I'm not going to get into the exact details of it. It was a long talk and it involved a lot of emotions. She is his girlfriend. They've been together for four months. She is under the impression that we are separated and going through the divorce process. His family wasn't aware of this. His brother and mother, who were there, were horrified. I'm sorry I don't have more to say. I've already contacted a divorce lawyer, a therapist, and a financial advisor. Thanks to everyone for your support. Story 2. What if I texted my husband's female best friend to see her reaction? My husband has this best friend from college time. I never had issues with her until my wedding a month ago when my maid of honor overheard her snapping at another friend of theirs that she has him when she wants him, when the friend teased her that she lost him, and he was the one who got away. I told my husband about it a few days ago didn't want to ruin our honeymoon, but it was still in my head, but he denied anything happened between them. He was very calm when he said it. Almost too calm. Anyway I have no proof and I trust him. Until I used his phone when mine unalived. He was driving and I was making a playlist on his phone. Then I looked through his messages and he had no thread with her. I mean I know for a fact that they text. Nothing. I didn't say anything but last night I literally saw her name pop up amongst the texts. When he went to bed I looked and there were no texts. He is deleting them. Now my question is, if I ask he will deny it. I need to know and I need proof. Would I be the jerk if I initiated a conversation with her acting like I'm my husband and see what's up? I need proof and peace of mind. Mini update. I went through his deleted messages, but it was empty so he has been deleting the deleted messages as well. I don't know if there's further steps to find them. I don't know. I sent her WYD, because this is how he texts when he is bored. She said she was in bed, I said I was in bed too watching Succession. She asked if I was sleeping. Then it didn't take long before she started as Ting, in a way that made it obvious that they've done it multiple times. I ended it quickly because honestly I felt nauseous. I didn't want to S her. I sent myself all the evidence. Tomorrow I will be moving back to my parents' place and start the divorce. I will not tell him why. Another mini update. Yes. I have told him and I have blocked him, and after the holidays I will contact a lawyer. The rumors spread very fast and the idiot thinks that his affair partner is the one who told me on purpose, and they are trashing each other on social media. She texted me to call me a hoe, and that I ruined her reputation, and that he never loved me. I blocked her too. Update post. I left him and now I am writing this from the comfort of my mum's bed. We kicked out dad because I want all the attention now. They have been showering me with food and candy. I left without saying why just that I wanted a divorce and that I don't love him anymore. I ended the marriage with a text while he was out because he's not worth more than that. When he got home I was gone. I blocked him because I never want to see or hear from him again. The rumors started spreading pretty fast though because I told my family and friends the truth. So now he is angry thinking that his affair partner did it on purpose so he is bashing her on social media and she is fighting him back and fighting other friends too. She texted me saying that I am a hoe who ruined her reputation and friendships, and that he never loved me anyway, and he married me because I am a dumb hoe. I blocked her. I will deactivate all my accounts for a while. After the holidays I am getting an attorney. I don't want an annulment. 
I don't think it is possible either. I want half so no annulment.